Yeah. I'm good, Shane. How are you? I am very, very good. Good, well. good. Thank you. It's lovely to see you in here. Thanks. You're Thanks. Welcome. And all this morning, it's really good to see you. It really is. So, what do you usually get for your hair guy? Uh, five on top, Shane, and okay. half at the sides, please. Half sides and back. Yeah. And also clean shave as well? Yeah, hot towel shave, please. And hot towel shave as well. That's perfect. That's great. Hello, everybody. Welcome today. We have a guy in here on our chair and on our studio today. And we are going to give Gary half sides and back. And also number five on the top. And we're going to give nice transformation for the guy today. And we're going to give a nice hot towel shave as well for the guy. It's going to be nice and relaxing. This is going to be a nice SAMR video. And it's not going to be music or anything else in the background. It's just going to be nice and relaxing for the guy and for your guys, for you guys as well. I hope you guys will enjoy this uh, tutorial and live video as well, same time. So make sure if you have any questions, please comment on there. I will try to answer your questions. And it's nice to have you guys in here as well. All right, enjoy it. <clears throat> this is our new journey, Kai. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. <clears throat> and please make sure you like and follow as well. Don't forget that. So how has your day been today, Manny? Ah, uh, busy enough, Shane, yeah. Busy, yeah. At the gym this morning and then walking the dog and yeah. over to our garden centre with my wife this afternoon. So uh, yeah. then for a cup of coffee. So yeah. I get my time in very well, thank you. Yeah, that's brilliant. It was a lovely day today, isn't it? Yeah, it was lovely today, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely brilliant. It's really, really nice. I'm not even joking, like I was like, I wasn't really want to be at the work today. <laughs> I'm not even joking. I just see this bed. I said, oh my God. You work, you work too hard, Shane. I try my best. <laughs> I try my best to not to work too hard. <laughs> but you know yourself, it has to be done. Yeah. I'll be honest with you, I don't mind, you know? Yeah. Because sometimes, you know, like you work away and then if you stop, you know, you just get used to it. Yeah, yeah. To not to work, you know yeah. what I mean? And then I don't want to get that feeling. Yeah. Because I've been there in the past so many times. Yeah. So I want to keep it up and keep just going, you know? Yeah. But it's hard when you have young kids as well. Yeah. Same yeah. Time, you know, you want to spend time. You want to spend kids. some time with the kids as well. Exactly. With the kids. The family. With the yeah. Family. Yeah. And all everything it is, it is actually, you know. But all your work is for the family, isn't it really, at the end exactly. of the day? Yeah. Exactly. And they do understand that as well. Yeah. Like, you know, for example, like wife, you know, she yeah. feels like, you know, she doesn't mind, you know, like if I'm working hard and late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she knows I have to do that like for mm -hmm. three years. And which we mm -hmm. have a, a talk about this and all. And yeah. she supports me fully, like, which is really good. Yeah, you've built up a very good business here. Thanks to God, we have. Yeah. We have. And we are so keep trying better and better. We can yeah. and make better. Yeah. And thanks to God about the business and the team, everybody, it's really good. And I couldn't do this by myself. It's all about the teamwork. Yeah. You know, 100% and without a doubt. You've got a good team around you. Very good team. Thank you. Yeah. Very, very good team. Like we have a Tom's and Jack and they are amazing. Like, really yeah. Amazing. Now we have a Kathy as well. Now, you know, yeah. the girl join us. And she's doing brilliant. And she yeah. has customer service is really good. And talking and chatting with the clients is amazing. Yeah. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So, guys, I've been getting my hair cut with Shane for many, many years, yeah. and uh, he's the best about. Let me tell you. Oh, thank you. If you haven't been yet, get yourself down here. Yeah, thank you. Uh, definitely. It has been a long time, isn't it? Right? Yeah, Since many years. So, about ten or twelve years, I think, I've been at called least, to Shane. At least ten or twelve. Yeah. At least. Definitely is. Yeah. Time for it. Mm. Yeah. I remember I started in the Bomb Bridge first, like. That's right. Yeah, you know, like, it was what a day, like, what a time. Mm. Honestly, it was crazy. Honestly. Yeah, Bomb Bridge was some journey, like, 
Yeah. I had a lot of fun with you. Well, I'm retired from Bambridge now seven years, and I was going to you four or five years whenever I was there, so it's been a long time. Wow, has it been seven years already? Been yeah, retired, retired seven already. years, yeah. Wow. It's not even joking, I haven't even failed seven years. Seven it's years? Like, it's like a blink. Yeah, it is. Honestly, it is. Like, it is like a blink. Honestly. Wow, that's amazing. That is brilliant. I remember Jack standing watching you when you were training him. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And now yeah. Jack's an excellent barber as well. Jack is an amazing barber. Like yeah. Him. Jack is really, really good. Jack is better than me. <laughs> <laughs> You're hard to beat, yes. Uh, but you know what? It's he's nice. very good, yeah. He's very good. But you know what? It's nice to see that. Yeah. You know, nice to see someone you put your effort and time and yeah. hard work in. And someone just being sudden beside you. Yeah and you see seen them, they're doing so well and they're really good and they're like master the barber now and it's so good to see that, it's yeah. good feeling. It's, it makes you feel better as well and proud so your hard work it hasn't gone waste. Yeah, yeah, you know oh I mean? Jack's a nice guy too. He's a brilliant guy, like yeah. he's a really, really nice guy, you know, and he does really good job, you know. Jack has his own special customers as well, people that keep coming back to really? him, yeah. Yeah, he's a very popular, regulars. yeah. He's very, very popular. There are plenty of regulars as well himself, you know. Oh, absolutely. Isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's all about. For the first time after a month, I've been in the gym first this morning. Is that right? Honestly, like, oh, I was working 12 to 14 hours every day. Yeah. Uh, and no day off, six, seven days, seven days. Yeah. The last couple of weeks. The last three weeks. So you got the gym this morning? This morning, I said to myself, get in there. At what time did you go to the gym at? Half six. Half six? Half six yeah. in the morning I was in the gym. I, w I was actually up to six o'clock uh -huh. and then half six I went to the gym and then I was one and a half hour in the gym. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yes. One and a half hour in the gym and I would like some like half an hour running on the treadmill. I love running. Before Roman. I start the work. Yeah. yeah. Before I start the work in the gym, I like to just run first uh -huh. to warm the body and then do the weights. And do your weights. So, and then yeah. like cardio and weights yeah. and stretching and all, you know? Yeah. So, and then get in them. Makes you feel better. It's a great start to the day, absolutely, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. That's why I'm buzzing today. This is my <laughs> second live I'm doing today. Is that right? <laughs> oh, yeah. I was on live as well earlier in here, isn't it, guys? <laughs> Yeah, it was good. It was very good yeah. time. Absolutely brilliant time. So we really did a great job. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Taylor. Appreciate that, man. Uh, to Ryan, we are close tonight, man. We are uh, just doing special video and tutorial for the guy tonight we are normally up on six o'clock tuesday and wednesday man you know everybody's welcome by the way everybody's good to see you good to see you in here make sure you guys like and follow please we are trying to grow our channel and follow us on youtube as well please it's called the irish turk thank you man good to see you you're more than welcome ryan always good to see you man appreciate that appreciate that cheers <coughs> Yeah. Uh, by the way, Ryan, you can make an appointment on the Booksy as well if you're interested in coming, bro. Uh, we have a, a Booksy.com. You can make an appointment from there as well. All right. And hi, Corin. Good to see you, man. Hi, Stevie. <coughs> yeah. I love TikTok, guy. You love TikTok? I love TikTok. It's so good platform. Yeah, I'm not even joking. It's amazing. Like, and most of my clients come from TikTok as well. Is that right? It really is. Like yeah. TikTok is amazing, uh, amazing yeah. platform. 
I have a guy. I hope you get more after tonight, anyway. Hopefully, I think I will. I have an amazing person, Maggie. Honestly, already people start following. This is really good to see. <laughs> absolutely, man. Absolutely. Um, I had a guy one day in the TikTok from TikTok, and he came here, and he said, "You know, I'm watching your TikTok videos and all everything." Uh -huh. And where is he from? Dongan. Dongan. Yeah. And he one, came here for a haircut. Yeah, one hour oh. from there. And he actually booked the VIP haircut and all, and he's yeah. he's brought him here. Yeah. He's the young lad. And his mommy came and all, and we just, you know, yeah. had a coffee and tea in here, and then he was having a haircut in here, and then and they booked a VIP studio for that. Uh -huh. And then she said this, she, and she said, um, this morning I get up, and then first thing he said to me, we are going to more. <laughs> and said, had he booked it? He booked it, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, he booked it. He booked it the day before. Uh -huh. Actually, he booked it the day before. And he said, uh, she said, you know, uh, I didn't even know. He, she said, I didn't even know he booked it. Uh -huh. And we just get up and she just he just told me we are going to Dramore. Huh? I have an appointment in Dramore for the haircut. I said, Dramore? He had an appointment? <laughs> she was uh, kind of like super shocked. Yeah. And Dramore is like one hour away. And then, oh yeah, we are going to have a haircut by Tri the Irish Turk. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that's what, that's what she said, you know. And then mm -hmm. I said, okay. I said, here, he's more welcome. And he loved it. He absolutely loved it. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. It's good you're getting customers from that yeah, far away. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thankfully, yeah. thankfully. And thanks to everybody, you know. Uh, really, really amazing journey. Definitely. No, yeah. Uh, by the way, we did number five on the top and we are doing a little bit scissor work to blend them in and just taking slightly more shorter than number four because Gary liked that way. By the way, just keep you guys updated. Yeah. Yeah. Social media is a big thing. Right? Yeah. The stage, you know, Gary really is. Like, we have the magazines downstairs on the table. Not even joking. Very rarely people pick up magazine. No, really. everyone looking at their phone. On the phone. Yeah, not yeah. even joking. Like, which is good to see, like yeah. you know, the technology and then it connects you with no, the world. No matter where you go out, no, but everyone is on their phone. Everyone, isn't everyone. It? everyone. Honestly, like. Yeah. And I'd be honest with you, I'm kind of addicted to my phone as well. Yeah. Every, like every time I just. You wonder how we ever lived without them, Shane. Mm -hmm. You wonder how we ever lived without them. Yeah, yeah. We are just so spoiled. Yeah. With the phones, I think. Not even joking. We are very spoiled with the phones. And if you're without it for an hour or so, you feel as if you've lost something, don't you? Isn't it? Yeah. You want to go back and you want to check yeah. back again something, you know? That's so crazy. Like, I'm excited for the future. Mm -hmm. I am kind of like excited for the future because the technology is coming out now. Yeah. Um, and the AI is coming now. Look at the AI. Yeah, they yeah. Are the next generation. Like, the AI is going to be blow up everywhere. Electric yeah. cars and everything. You know, it's going to be interesting uh, future for us. You know. For our kids, anyway. For my oh, kids, my grandkids. Definitely. You know. Definitely. And be honest, like, look at the kids already. Now they are already on to all the. Yeah, ones. my little five. grandsons yeah. too. And already he's looking at phones and swiping his finger over them yeah. and whatever, you know. They pick things up so quickly. Oh, so quickly. And you know what? One of my clients actually told me the other day. He said, you know, the kids are in the States, they're very smart. Mm -hmm. Kids are so smart. Yeah. Like <laughs> and very tall. The kids mm -hmm. are getting very taller as well. Mm -hmm. You don't see much, very rarely, you know, kids, you know, very low, like, you know, very short. Yeah. But like most people I see, so all told, you know. I think school's a lot more exciting for kids now than it was whenever we were going to school. You know. It is. Teachers are more involved with kids now and... Yeah, caring. Yeah, yeah. Very, very caring and listening to them and all like, you know. I know whenever we were going to school, you know, you were very much left to your own devices, but now teachers seem to get more involved with kids and yeah. 
do all they can to help them. That's right. And we, and when we was going to school, we wasn't even have devices like this. No, no. Like we have to go find our own friends and make our yeah, own friends yeah. and play with our own friends yeah. and make the fun out of it. Yeah. Like play football in the streets and then come home with the half shoes gone, <laughs> <laughs> half trousers yeah. gone, sweating and the uniform is <laughs> stinking. Yeah. <laughs> You know, Holes in your trousers. And uh, mommy's waiting with a stick in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? <coughs> I told you, don't play. Getting football. your trousers patched. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> haven't I told you, don't play football yeah. with your school shoes? <laughs> oh, what it is, what it is. And it was a fun like. Yeah. It was really fun like. Oh. I do still speak like with my, you know, school friends and all. Like I have a still back from Turkey. Yeah. yeah. Still talk to them. Like good few of them. I mm -hmm. still talk to them. Do and you I ever see them. any of them whenever you go over to Turkey? I do. Yeah. I do. I see actually two, two, three of them. But I have like quite like quite few. I mm -hmm. speak to them as well. But everybody have their own life, you know. You can't. Yeah. You know, like it's not like you used to be. You don't ring them every day or every week, you know. Yeah. Because everybody's having families, kids. People are traveling more now and. Yeah. Moving away from home place and. Absolutely. Life has kept moving on, guy. Yeah. I can't believe seven years you've been retired. Seven years, yeah. I'm really surprised. August 2017. Wow. That is crazy. I've been moving to more like, it's been two, three, two, three years. It was just, was it before, just after COVID? After COVID, yeah. yeah. Two, three years, yeah. That's crazy. Guys, you'll see Shane's attention to detail. That's what makes him so good. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's where this uh, success is hiding in the details. Yeah. That's why I always say, you know, the success is hiding in the details. Oh, yeah. Small things makes a big difference. Yeah, he's a perfectionist. Oh, thank you. Try my best. I'll never say I'm amazing, but I do my best. He definitely is perfectionist. I try my best, guy. Thank you for, for, thank you for the kind words. I really appreciate that, man, you know. How was your uh, time in the Cyprus? Yeah, good, yeah, good, yeah. Yeah. Time, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing country time, it's like yeah. lots of all that. We've, uh, we've booked for the Maldives in January. We're going there in January. There? The Maldives. No way. Yeah. It's amazing, yeah. man. That's brilliant. So uh, my wife's looking to go to Switzerland and July, so that's another country I really want to go. It's a beautiful country, isn't it? Yeah, it's supposed to be you nice. Know, she's always wanted to go. So. Yeah, she's just right. Oh, sorry. I love to go there as well. Switzerland, another country, and all these. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful countries. And such a good experience as well. Like, yeah, you know, that would be a lifetime experience. Yeah, honestly. I have friends who are in New Orleans at the minute, mm -hmm. and they're having an amazing time there. That's great. New Orleans, yeah. yeah. I was there many years ago, but... Uh, yeah. It's an amazing city. 100% man. Of course. 
I heard about New Orleans, you know, a few of my clients was telling me, yeah. like yourself, they said, Shane, you have to try there. It is amazing. The music and the food and, yeah, yeah it's just yeah. something else. That's a burning man, that's really good. You know what, the world is actually beautiful place yeah. to be in. But it's such a small place now, you know, travel's so easy. Yeah, yeah. But if you know how to keep yourself happy, you know, you'll be yeah. always happy, like, isn't it, like, in this world? Yeah. You know? But it's just a pity there's so much trouble going on in the world at the minute. Always. Yeah. It's never ends. Unfortunately. <laughs> Sad to say, like, my body said, you God help them, you know. God help everybody. Yeah. Honestly, that's all we can do. Just pray for them. Middle East is a oh, awful state at the moment, isn't it? Yeah. Honestly, you know what? Unfortunately, man. It's sad to see that. Doesn't matter what country it is, you don't want to see that like that, you know? No. Honestly. Amazing. Good job once again. Of course.
What is the plan for you tomorrow then, Guy? Sorry, the plan for what? What is the plan for tomorrow? Tomorrow? Yeah. And we have our grandson tomorrow, so... Uh, All right. We'll have to keep him entertained for a while. Yeah, right. Yeah. It does take some work. Yeah. Especially a two-year-old. Oh, bless him, you know. Yeah. He'll be so cute. So he will. And uh, Friday, we don't have him on Friday, so we have a free day on Friday. Yeah. So we might head into Belfast for oh, the day, uh, yeah. That would be really nice, you know. I think it's going to be a nice day as well tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I think it's going to be nice till... Saturday, I think, yeah. Saturday, yeah. yeah. yeah. That's right. That's right. And then Sunday, back to cloudy days. Back to cloud, the middle of the end. Yeah. I'm going to be regret I haven't ever used any day off on this nice days. Are you going to take any more holidays or? Um, I am actually thinking, I am actually thinking in October time. Yeah. So we haven't decided 100% anything yet, but we are definitely want to go somewhere. Go like somewhere, yeah. Before the winter completely start, you know? Yeah. Because you know yourself, the winters are quite long in here, you know? Yeah. So we want to actually, you know, use the advantage of it and get somewhere, you know, so bring it across, you know? Blake, we are close. Blake, we are close. Six, uh, six p.m. on Tuesday and Wednesdays, so that's why we are close, Blake. And uh, Thursday, Friday, we work until seven p.m. and Tuesday, Wednesday, six p.m., ten a.m. six p.m. and also Saturdays till five p.m., eight a.m. to five p.m. Sunday, Mondays, ten a.m. to four p.m. Man. So I hope you you can come on tomorrow, Blake. So. Yeah, you can come in tomorrow. Uh, yeah, please like and follow this video, by the way, guys. <laughs> will be appreciated. Thank you. Yeah, please make sure you like and follow. Yeah. My target on the TikTok to get the first 50,000 followers. 50,000? Yeah, we are on the nearly 11,000 at the moment. Alright. Yeah, so that's our first target. It's the 50,000 followers. You know, so that's our first target. And then getting there. I see you've got a wee bit of advertising on the side wall now. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And that's available for anybody in Stanford. Yeah, yeah. Good uh, idea. It's an amazing idea. And the back wall as well. Yeah. Exactly the same back and front, uh, side wall. It's available for any business who want to put through their address that sign yeah. up there. And it's very, very low cost. Mm -hmm. You know how much it is? Twenty pound a month. Twenty a month. That's yeah. nothing. Nothing. Yeah. That's nothing. And yeah. they can just give it years and years. Yeah. Honestly. You know, so it's basically what I'm trying to help the other businesses to ever because that car park is on really busy. Yeah. You know yeah. yourself. Yeah. You yeah. Stop all day long. Like every five seconds, the car walks by passing there. Yeah, and yeah. someone walks past in there. Yeah. It's an amazing opportunity. And on the future, what we are actually thinking, I'm going to get some spotlights, hit mm -hmm. the walls. Yeah. So Light it up at night. Yeah. yeah. Yeah. Right of it. So that's my future plan. And front and side and back. I want to make it like Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> Casino. <laughs> yeah. Top floor is going to go. <laughs> top floor is going to go. Oh, I'm here for the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> top floor. Just get, just get top floor. Yeah. Side entrance. Slide in. Yeah. Let <laughs> yeah. me get the left and all that. You know, 
the girls gonna welcome you. Hi, sorry, welcome. Drink, drink, sir. Drink, yeah. Cigar. Yeah. Oh, okay. Have you ever been in Las Vegas? Yourself? No, I haven't. No. I haven't as well. I've never been. Yeah, it doesn't place. appeal to me, to be honest. So. I'm saying, never been twice. Yeah. Ever. Honestly. Um, we've, been to, we've been to the casinos in Cyprus and they're quite good, yeah. Amazing casino. Well, you, you've worked there, you know. I did, yeah. yeah. I used to work at the hotel called Kai Artemis. Yeah. It's a five star hotel. Been there. Amazing, amazing hotel. Been up there, up at Bafra. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, that's right. You know, very close to the Pama Gusto. Yeah. Amazing hotel. And they actually do movies and all in there. In yeah. The hotel, Turkish movies and all. And I actually watch the movies and all. Yeah. In the casino. Yeah. In the hotel and casino. And it's such a nice, good movie. Funny movie. Comedy. Yeah. Completely. But they've comedy. built about another three or four big hotels up there now, Shane. Isn't it? Yeah. I'm surprised. I'm yeah. Surprised. It's a big business in there. Yeah. I'm not even joking, and they never stop. Mm. All seven days, never stop. Yeah. Such a good business. Yeah. And it's enjoyable. Like people was having really good fun and enjoying themselves. Yeah. We used to have all these big business people, anyway. Mm -hmm. Very, very big business people in there. And it's a really, really, really good hotel, you know. Um, and I've seen some really, like you know movie stars and mm -hmm. singers and TV stars and presenters and football yeah. managers. Every two weeks in the hotel they used to bring uh, some um, singer to the concert mm -hmm. for their guests. Yeah. Honestly. So mm -hmm. we keep the guests entertainment. Yeah. Entertainment. Honestly. Yeah. So there was every two weeks, every three weeks, there was a concert in there. Yeah. But they had a good setup in there, guy. Yeah, so it's they a nice place. Like amazing setup, like oh yeah. my gosh. Like you go there, you will feel like a king in there. Yeah. Not even joking, man. Everything is there for you. And they are so good to their staff. Mm -hmm. Like we was working in there. Like I was going from Turkey to Cyprus working there. And I was known in the ending. Mm -hmm. Our room, house, it was, we was actually staying in the villas. Right. Old like small type of villas. It was all around it, yeah. All around the hotel. Yeah. And that was all just belong to staff. Yeah. Not even joking, yeah. free. Free. Free, you don't have to pay for anything. Yeah. Hot water, 24 hours, even our clothes, uniforms. Was there's laundry, yeah. for staff. All done for you. All done for you, washed and ironed for you. Amazing, like food, everything. Everything is free. Breakfast, lunch, dinner. Free. Yeah. Free. All provided by the hotel. But they must take care of not their staff because the staff of the own the business for them. Yeah. I tell you one story about the Cyprus. One day, me and my friends, we are working in the same hotel. This is like our first year in Cyprus, and we are working both in the same casino. He's a croupier. Uh huh. He's yeah. In the games, plays and all yeah. everything on the table. He's amazing, man. He's so fast. He's very, very good. And then. Uh, what the And then, so he was, he was croupier, mm -hmm. and he was very, very good. He was absolutely brilliant. Mm -hmm. And he's, me and him working in the same casino, and we, after like six, seven months, we've been working. 
was going to go to Turkey for a one week holiday. Mm -hmm. And then he was going to go to Turkey for one week holiday. And then um, we went in the Famagusto. We went in the Famagusto. Mm -hmm. And we are we went to the barber shop. Mm -hmm. Having a haircut. Yeah. I had my hair cut and my friend was sitting as well and he's, he wasn't going to be his next turn. Yeah. And while I was having a hair cut, there was a, you know, the bedding places uh -huh. in the crossroad. Yeah. Uh, and then we, he said, I'm just going to go across the road and then come back. Mm -hmm. Okay, no worries. And I just don't lose too much money, I said to him. Uh -huh. right? Because I know he's going to do the bedding and all like, yeah. that and play the machines and all. Every man in the side with his own yeah, machine. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. Everyone. Some people make money, some people will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah right? And then this, my friends, he went to the crossroads. By the I come back, by the I finish haircut, and he come back, a lot of money in his pocket. Uh -huh. He make fortune. Like, a right? fortune. Yeah. Yeah. And he's very good with the machines. Yeah. And he paid for my haircut and all as well. It was really uh -huh. nice. Yeah. You know? And then it was his turn. And he put on a chair. I said, I'm gonna just go across the road. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I'm just gonna go across the road. I come uh -huh. back. He said to me, I want to suggest you Shane. He said you're gonna yeah. stay in here. Yeah. <laughs> you know yeah. Because I have some of my wages and all my uh -huh. Money, you know, in my pocket. Like, it wasn't big, big money at that time. Yeah, like, yeah. like maybe 100, 150 pounds. Anyway. Yeah. And then he said to me, Shane, I wouldn't suggest you. You're not the best to be honest with it. Uh -huh. I said, all right, like, like give you a smart response. You know what I mean? Kind yeah. Thing. And then I went to the crossroad. I put one pound in. And I get, like, in that time, the one pound was good. Like, yeah. say, you know, 10, like, say, you know, like, 100 pounds. Right? Yeah, no. yeah. And I was then 71 pounds, and I doubled that like yeah. ten times more. Yeah. Like now, now time like seven, eight hundred pounds. Yeah, like yeah. hundred pounds. Yeah. And then I run across back to the barber shop with happy face and all that. Uh -huh. All right, excited. Oh yeah. Look at me. What was you saying? Uh -huh. I got the money and all everything. <laughs> you only pay for your haircut as well. So I'm all that. And then, and then he's, he was like middle of the haircut, all right? And then I said, I'm gonna go back in. And I said, he said, I wouldn't. I really, really wouldn't. He said, now you're good, you got the money, leave uh, it. Leave right? it? Yeah, he said to me that. Keep your winnings? Keep your winnings. Am I gonna stay? No. No. <laughs> of course not. So we are still from there. And I'm eating like, oh, I'm gonna get more. I'm gonna uh -huh. get more. And then for like 15, 20 minutes, I lost all them. Lost like, everything. I lost everything. Not even joking. Like yeah. and my face is like <laughs> not even joking. Like I was so yeah. upset. And yeah. Lost all their money off. And then plus that, plus that because I was trying to get the money back again. Yeah. Was, and then then I start to sell, I start to say to myself, I want to get my winning back. And yeah. I want to go. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. And now I'm fighting for that. Yeah. It was yeah. already in my hand. Yeah. But I didn't use it. Yeah. And now I'm fighting to get back again. Yeah. And then so I started spending from my pocket. Your wages, yeah. My wages. Yeah. And then I'm trying to get the money back. And I'm just putting 20 quid in, 20 yeah. quid in, 20 quid in, you know what I mean? Trying to get back in. Yeah. And then we bit winning and then we bit losing again. Yeah. We yeah. Win yeah. Yeah. Losing yeah. Again. And just a little bit winning, a little bit winning, and a little bit losing. I said, full blank. I said, oh my gosh. I said, I'm going to lose my mo my own money as well. Yeah, yeah. Whenever I was in so well. And then I, not even joking, I lost half my wages. Uh -huh. Like 75% of my wages yeah. in that day in that casino. Yeah. And then, and I said to myself, never again. Never again. Never again. And I'm not even joking. Like maybe till I came to the UK, yeah. never playing again. Never played it again. Never play again. Because that was actually a good lesson for me. Yeah. It's yeah. actually, you know what, I'm so glad I lost it in there. Because yeah. I could have get worse. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And then because I knew how hard I was working to get my the money. Yeah. And just like that you can it's gone. Yeah. It's gone. 
So that's actually teach me amazing lesson. And then what happened is, one day I came in here in the bomb bridge, you know, boil. Yeah. I, I love bingo. Fun. Uh -huh. Bingo is good fun. You yeah. put like yeah. a few quid in and you just go there, yeah. you win, you win, you don't win. You don't yeah, lose. You, don't, you don't worry if you lose you anything. Yeah, it's yeah. more. I love bingo, you know? Yeah. And, and the good thing is about the bingo, you can always chat with the people, and you can make friends, yeah. you can make good crack, good fun, you know what I yeah. mean? So, yeah. And that's why I always enjoy the big bingo. And, and then what I do, <coughs> I went to bingo, played the bingo, take the wife sometime with me. We went to play bingo on the wife and all, you know, it mm -hmm. was good, good fun. And then what I did, one night I went by myself, bingo's finished, and then you know the machines outside. Yeah. <laughs> I get in the machines. Uh huh. One day, all right? And then there's, you know, roulette. Uh huh. I said, let me just try a couple of roulettes. Yeah. First win, 200 pound, boom. Yeah. Got it. Amazing. Yeah. Honestly, like for like tenor or something. Uh huh. Amazing. And then I said, oh, that's good. That's good going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know where this is going. Yeah, I got yeah. the feeling in it. Yeah. And then I'm not even joking. After one hour, I was minus 400. <laughs> <laughs> After one hour, minus 400. Minus 400? Minus 400. Oh. And I did. Frank Dad, never ever again. Uh, yeah. and that's been like probably 10 years. Yeah. I've been joking. Like it was like over 10 years, obviously. Yeah. And that Since was a lot of money for you then? Yeah. Yeah. 100%, you know, and I'm not even joking, I haven't even touched it again. Yeah. I'm not even going to bingo anymore. You don't even go to bingo anymore? <laughs> Can't go to bingo at all. So, it was just only experience, like, honestly. And never again, never. Yeah, it was good fun, but like, you know, it's teach me big lessons, you know? Yeah. So. Very few people come out winners. 100%. That's why they always say the house is always the winner. House is always the winner. Yeah. House is always the winner. Absolutely. You get the odd person might win a few pounds, but yeah. more often than not, the house, you say the house is always the winner. No. Now I only do like, you know, you know their friends, he won. I'm not even joking. He won so much money on the, you know, so much money on the things, uh, like, you know, playing machines and all everything. But he lost so much as well. Mm -hmm. He really lost so much as well. Same yeah. Time. I remember he was getting mad, you know, like with the, he was getting mad with the, you know, like losing money and all that. Like yeah. So much. That's now. A lot of people will tell you about their winnings, but they don't tell you how much they how lost. Much they lost. Exactly, yeah. they will not. Exactly. Yeah. Of course, they're not going to see it. No. That's why I wouldn't really recommend anybody anytime, mm. just, you know. Yeah. Get this beard shape off, huh? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> I see young pants. <laughs> Next time when I'm, uh, I'm doing live, so I'm going to just close all of them. <laughs> oh, yes. Now I'm just perfect. 
of lawn. Have you ever tried your luck, Gary, in Cyprus? Yeah, yeah. As many years you've been living in Cyprus? Yeah, yeah, we did a few times. The casinos, yeah. Yeah. yeah. But you're a smart person, you wouldn't go for our luck? No. <laughs> so you're, you know. Money's too hard to earn, Shane, exactly. to throw it away. 100% agree. 100% agree. Yeah. <laughs> This is the fun part, folks. Dad is right. <laughs> Dad is right. This is the fun part. Fun part for me. <laughs> oh, yes. Let me read some comments. But I was always in the holiday resort. Yeah. Like Marmaris, Altincombe, Didim, you know? Yeah. So, always in there. And, yeah. Şahin Kuzey İrlanda dedim kardeşim benim. Kuzey İrlanda, Belfast tarafından. Belfast tarafında kardeşim, Şahin. Evet, sen neredesin kardeşim? İrlanda mı sende? Hi Corey, welcome. That is perfect. I love about the, you know, you can speak English and just turn to Turkish. Yeah, yeah. That's such a good, like, you know, and just honestly, three, two, one. That's it. Three, two, one. That's it. Oh, sorry about the pain. Three, two, one. That's it. Three, two, one. That's it. It really is quite painless. That's okay. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Gary's used to now, yeah. it, isn't it? But he loves it. He loves it as well. Amazing. Absolutely. That's fine.
before I start the shave, always I will just check the face, make sure there's no scar or spots or anything else. I have to be careful. So just that's why I always do the safety check, uh, safety check for the future. If you guys in the hotel shave, you know.
in the lettering of the hot towel shape I just want to explain you guys a little bit about the hot towel shape and when you are lettering the face it's so important because more you ladder and more you rub, uh, rub the brush it makes the face more nice and soft and smoother for you as well so you can be able to easily shave for the customer's face you know and it'll be more easy for him and it'll be more easy for you as well while you are shaving so that's why the lettering is very very important part as well you know yeah and always keep your brush warm as well you know dip in the hot water and then rub the face again that's another important steps as well uh, I always keep my brush warm I don't make the brush go cold when I'm doing hot towel shapes uh, because more warmer the brush is better for the face and also better for the beard as well make the beard more softer Make sure you guys like and follow by the way please <laughs> thank you And whenever I am doing the shave, I always pull the skin a little bit as well. So it's like more easy for you to stretch the skin. And also it will be more easy for the blade to go smoother, you know. Just kind of like a little bit stretch the skin. It will do the job. And I have this towel in here always so I can dry my hands. If this gets foam, so my, I can be able to stretch the skin more easily because that's why I have always this towel if you are a very beginner for this hot towel shave and very at the learning stage take your time and if you want to learn how to use the cut throat uh, start from the round the neck first you know when you are in the barber shop, <clears throat> before you start to use the cut shot on the customer's face, start using on the neck first, you know, and then that's that's how you will practice on the around the neck and on the edges. So and then once you feel comfortable, and then you can start to give hot towel shape on the face. So. The way I go 
also do like opposite sides. Sometimes you know some clients have a beard like upgrown, so you can you don't want to go down because it will bleed or it will give customers uh, pain. So you don't want to do that. That's why you know consider to go opposite side as well. Sometimes you know, just like I do in here, just pull the skin down a little bit and just go like opposite side like this. Uh, it is actually makes more easy for you. And you can always go back again with the buzzer after, which I'm gonna do that after. You guys will see that. <clears throat> and here, stretch the skin like this just uh, here on the edge just stretch the skin again and just take your time and then also keep your razor wet as well sometimes it will help and take your time around here because these are the quite sensitive areas just like that Do you want drink? No, fine. Oh, thank you. Of course. As you guys can see, I am just stretching the skin and pulling the skin like this. Just taking my time nice and slowly. And I keep this blade always like angle, not deep, straight, just angle with it. Just a little bit angle and it will do the job itself. That's perfect. And around the chin here again, I'm just putting pulling a little bit up and then just going smoothly. One, two, three, one, two, three. Just follow the steps. <coughs> and pulling again in here, just like that with my two fingers. Just pulling down. And as I'm working here, I can feel the blade is not going down. I have to clean the foam and see what uh, what way is the beard growing and then I can work from there. Look, now it's going more easy. Because when the beard is up growing, you can see and feel the blade anyway. You can feel the blade anyway. The blade doesn't want to go down. If it's costing you like hard, that's mean the, the beard is up growing. So change your angle from there. Just clean the foam and then just see the beard and then make sure all the way clean and then use your blades. That's perfect. And then always clean the edges and around the edges as well. That's perfect. And if you feel the beard starting, foam is starting slightly getting dry, feel free to add a little bit more foam. It wouldn't be any harm. Because the more you add a little bit more foam and rub it, it's just gonna keep the beard nice and soft for you. Your work is gonna be more easier from there for you and for your client.
That's perfect. And then when you come round here, pull the nose slightly up, pull the nose slightly up, all right? And then just take the foam off and then see where you are and then just start nice and small, nice and slowly, slowly, shapely. These areas are most sensitive areas. You have to take your time around here. That's perfect. Just take your time in there slowly, slowly. That's perfect. As you can see, I'm just pulling the skin slightly and then taking my form off and beard off. And then the shaving like that. Just take your time around the edges. And here, pull the skin down a little bit. This is quite a sensitive area. You don't want to cut the nose or anything else. Just pull the skin slightly down. And here, pull the skin like that again, and then just go there. Watch your finger, same time. That's it. Slightly just pull the skin off, and then that's it. That's it. See? All nice and clean now. And round edge. We're gonna go with the buzzer again after. That's gonna make more smoother. Alright? And the same as this side as well. Just clean the form again. Same time you clean the form. All right. Make sure the form. The same time you clean the form. Make sure the form is reaching everywhere because the form is on this side. What I do, I use the form, the dry areas. All right. So I will not waste the form. Try to use it anywhere is dry. I can see. So by the I come that area, it will be nice and soft. And then what I do in here, just pull the nose again slightly, but watch this corner, please. All right, make sure you blade, your blade is nice and clean. All right, just nice, just pull the skin off a little bit. And then go down. And then a little bit wet your razor. And then go down again. That's it. That's perfect. And then here, just again take the form off a little bit. Perfect. And then go opposite side. See in here, this is a very, very tricky part in here. When you are doing this, please watch the top lip. The top lip is where the most people make mistake. All right. Wash the top lip and then just keep your razor wet and take your time in there. Double, double care, please. And then in here, that's perfect. See that now? 
nice and clean in here. Always wash the top lips in here uh, when you are doing this technique, please. That's very super, super important. All right. And then we do the next side now. That's perfect. And as you can see, I'm just pulling the... Uh, can you guys hear me well, yeah? Is my voice coming okay? Yeah. As you guys can see, uh, I'm just pulling the skin a little bit like that. Just pulling the skin and then give it a nice clean shave and then just take an extra form off and pull the skin again in here just nicely that's perfect and pull the skin here again and watch the ear in here be super super gentle and take your time in here yeah, perfect. And pull the skin again like that. Just take your time. Perfect. And just pull the skin in here again. And always watch the ears, please. Sometimes, you know, some clients have a piercing or anything else, like, you know, on the ears or earrings or anything else. Just please be careful with them as well. And pull the ear like that slightly and just do the behind the ear. Just pull the ear small, nice and gently. Don't harm your client, nice and slowly. And. Uh, <clears throat> Perfect. I was pulling the skin again slowly. Just coming up around here. As I know, because the beard is going upside in here, so I'm just gonna take the foam off, pull the skin down, and then slowly, slowly just start to shave up. the skin down again up again and then just slowly slowly start to shave up as you can see in this shape there's no pain for the customers no pain for me you know it's no no harm for me just like nice and slowly I'm just going where the razor want to go because trust me, you, when you start to feel the razor, you know the razor want to shave, the razor want to go or not, you know, on the beard. And as you can see, that is nice and coming up. That is perfect. That is amazing. See, in this area, whenever the, I am doing opposite side like this, trust me, the razor is going itself. It's not giving me any, any hassle. That's perfect. And there's no pain for the guy as well. <laughs> Absolutely. And in here, just taking slightly again, because we're coming around the lips, just take extra, a little bit more care in here and pull the skin. Nice and slowly pull the skin and do your shave nice and slowly, please. Especially when you're coming around the lips area and nose area and chin area. Take always extra care, please. Perfect. And always clean your blade as well, often, because so you can see where you are using your blade. Don't build any foam on your blade. 
I see so many barbers building the foam on the blades, just keep going and going and going and they don't even see where they're going. That can be risky. So, as you can see, I'm just pulling the skin and just taking my time in this area and see where I'm going. Perfect. And when you come this last part of the web, you can do either side. You can do from here, all right, just pull the skin like this, that like this. But what I do myself, I will leave my razor in the water slightly, all right, and pull the skin like this, and then just shave it off. Just like that. And done. Simple. All right. So you don't have to go the other side. And you can easily, but you don't have to go the other side. Pull the skin, pull yourself. You can do that, or you can just go slightly like this. Pull the skin down, and just go opposite side and do this last part like that but when you are doing this be super careful with the top lip of course watch the top lip and whatever is left in here just pull that like that and just do that take the lid and here as we see we have a little bit left in here all right that's perfect just slightly wet it because it's quite dry -ish. all right Dip your finger in the water, hot water, and just, uh, excuse me, and just pull the skin slightly down. It's a bit of a tricky area in here. That's why I wet it, because it can get dry so quickly. And then just pull down a bit like that. And just take it off. Or a bit like that. That's it. See, that's all out as well. As you want to feel that, but you have to pull the skin down so you can get in that corner on the edge nice and easy. But be super careful with the blade again because the blade is so sharp and you can make easily mistake in here. All right. And you don't want to do that because trust me, when you have a cut in here, it's hard to stop as well. Really it is. It's hard to stop the bleed. Perfect. And then say for example when you are doing a hot towel shave and if you have a say cut on the customer's face in here or somewhere around here if you have a cut. Uh, <clears throat> as you can see this is one of our best friends in our barber shop. This is called Alum Stone. You can get that from eBay. And you can always deep in the water, rub wherever it's bleeding. Just keep deep in the water, rub wherever it's bleeding. Unless the bleed, the cut is not too big. Usually it just get, it just, usually it just gets very small cuts. But if you get the, like small cut, just deep in the water, rub this. It's going to be stinky, but it's going to stop the bleed. At least your clients will not leave the shop with the bleed on the face. And they will not look for you as a business. All right. So you can get this done. From the eBay, they come like with the box, like they can come with like 12, 12 pen, and they're only like five, six quid. It's very cheap, um, but uh, uh, thank you, Geno. I'm glad this the I'm glad this page is helping you, bro. And we will we will still do it like this lives. Uh, we will carry on like this lives uh, so many times. Don't worry. We're gonna do so many tutorials and live. Uh, videos all right and then so the shape is done basically all right what's my next step now I'm going to get some talcum powder all right just put all over the face a little bit because I'm going to use the bozo because the reason is I'm going to use the talcum powder uh, because I can still feel the beard slightly in here. I can still feel it slightly in here because I can't use the cut throat in here because the beard was upgrown. Until here, 
I was shaving down and I stopped in here and from here I shaved up so that's opposite side because I didn't want to give Gary any uh, like rash or bleed or or pain you know so that's why this area is so important that's why I want to go with the buzzer all over again so I can make this area nice and smooth so as why I put the talcum powder on because talcum powder is makes the buzzer job easy so because we give the guy red shave <coughs> all right we give the guy red shave we don't want this go over with the red face again so the talcum powder as you can see keeps the face slightly dry all right and then it makes uh, the job more easy for us as you can see See that now? Nice and smooth and very nice and close. Perfect. And then whenever I am doing this, I put my towel on. The towel is getting ready as well. Perfect. 
as you can see now, it's nice and smooth. And so that guy didn't have any pain in there. If I was doing with the control, it was gonna be a lot of pain in there. So now it's more nice and smooth. All right, that is perfect. And now the next step is hot towel. And then what we do, we get our hot towel ready. All right. And whenever you have a hot towel, make sure it's hot, but not too hot. All right. And then just double check with the client. Is that all right for you guys? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Perfect. And then just nice and smoothly. Perfect. There is a different ways to do hot towel as well, but that's the way I do it because I want the customs breathe as well, you know, so perfect. You can just do it the way you like it, you know. The hot towel. That wasn't too hot for you. No, no, it's fine, Shem. Perfect. And I always check the ears as well in case any forms left or anything else, and I just make sure I clean all them nicely before I send my client away and what I do I put some nice cream as well after because after the shave if you don't put cream the face gets dry and so you don't want to have a, your client have a dry face put some, some nice cream like moisturizer after it will be nice and smooth guys that's our result with the hot towel shave so i hope you guys like it <laughs> folks that is why shane is simply the best oh, simply you. the best <laughs> thank you very very much thank you guys you are spoiling me here guys <laughs> <laughs> thank you man
Nossa, é mesmo. Car, it doesn't like too much wax, just a small touch. Yep. And very little bit. It will do the perfect job. <coughs> <clears throat> Perfect. And that's our result. Result. All right. Thank you so much for you guys been watching this tutorial and being in here. And we really appreciate it as well for the guy being here. And guy, thank you so much for your help and support. Thank you, Shane. Being here as well today, man. Once again, guys, if you haven't been, get yourselves down here. Yeah, make sure you do. <laughs> All right. And like and subscribe and follow. And I will see you guys on our next live and video and tutorials. All right.